Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. My 22 male girlfriend, 21 female, of six months cheated on me. She claims not to know what she did wrong. I find the whole thing very bizarre. I don't know that I have a specific question here. I guess I just want to vent and see if anyone else has experienced anything similar and might have any advice. I'm somewhat confused right now. This past Friday, my girlfriend and I went to a party at a mutual friend's house. Small gathering, maybe 20 or so people there. We planned to drink and spend the night there. Girlfriend invited two friends from her work, a guy around our age, we'll call him Frank, and a girl who's a bit older. I've met Frank before at other gatherings, and him and his girlfriend seem to get along really well, like old friends or siblings, or new lovers. Despite that, they just met maybe two or three months ago. This bugs me just a little, but I haven't communicated it to my girlfriend because I feel it shouldn't bug me, since I have, well had, no reason not to trust her. I have a few friends of the opposite sex with whom I am very close, so it would be hypocritical of me to tell my girlfriend she can't have the same. The way I see it, saw it, it's my insecurity and I need to deal with it, not burden other people by tasking them to conform to my neurosis. At some point during the night, girlfriend stood a few feet away from the fridge and said to me, Gary, give me another beer. Myself, all the way on the other side of the room said, get it yourself, you're right next to the fridge. With obvious sarcasm, she replies, if you don't get me a beer, we're breaking up. Again, with obvious sarcasm, I say, well, I guess we're breaking up then, have a nice life, etc. After most people had left, I decided to head upstairs and clock out. GoFund says she's going to stay up for a bit. The only other people so present and awake were Frank and two other people, who seemed to be in the process of leaving when I went upstairs. The next morning when I woke up, GoFund was in bed beside me. We took a taxi back to her place, where she got ready for work and I made the shore walk back to my flat. No work on Saturdays for myself. After her shift was done that evening, she came to my place. As soon as she got there, she said to me, in a cheery, seemingly ironic tone, I think we should get back together. I asked what the F she was talking about. She explained, in the same ironic tone, how we broke up last night. Oh, I see, an extension of the same joke. Of course, yes, we should get back together. She then said, in a serious tone now, that she had something she wanted to tell me. While we were broken up, she had sex with Frank. Obviously, I was like, what the F? Are you being serious? Is this still joking? Nope, she wasn't joking. She was trying to tell me that we were actually broken up. It wasn't a joke, and during that time, she screwed Frank. Obviously, I was dumbfounded. I could sort of tell she herself didn't really believe much of what she was saying. She's not quite 100% crazy after all, but was just trying to gloss over things to make them more morally palatable. Thinking back, it seems likely she was in denial about it herself. She felt bad, wanted to make up a story, any story, that wouldn't make her seem like such a bad person. But still though, even accounting for self-delusion, who in their right mind would ever expect anyone to buy such an excuse? It reminds me of when I was in third grade and felt bad about telling a lie, so I went to the washroom and whispered, just kidding, thinking it would make the bad feelings go away. It didn't. But she's not in third grade, so like what the F? So I sort of freaked out. She eventually admitted that what she would did was wrong, but that it still wasn't cheating because we were broken up. And actually, I should be thankful she was nice enough to tell me. I yelled some crap about how she couldn't possibly believe that. She yelled back something about minding my own business, then stomped out the door. After that, I texted her not to come around anymore, that it's over. And I feel like it's over. Maybe I could forgive her if she got drunk and fooled around with some guy. But to make up such a silly, petty, childish lie? Really? To be honest, it wasn't too great of a relationship either. Been going downhill for a few weeks now. Good riddance, I guess. She texted back since that she's sorry, that she wants to talk, and she's called a couple of times, but I haven't responded, and don't plan to, unless it's to tell her not to call again. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out of me. I have friends I can talk to, but somehow this seems really embarrassing, just being associated with that sort of behavior. I don't know. Right now, I'm more angry than anything. Any thoughts on this? Is it as crazy as it seems to me? Anyone ever experienced anything like this? Some quick comments from the community before I move on to the next story. Petty Pal says, Let's list off the what the F moments. You jokingly broke up with her. It seemed pretty obvious it was a joke. 
if she took it serious, she, A, has a really hard time reading your sarcasm or jokes, or B, saw a situation to take advantage of. The fact she came up and slept next to you, why would she do that if you were broken up? If she truly thought so, why would she even want to be next to you and not with Frank, or by yourself? If she cared about you, or the relationship, she wouldn't go out and screw a guy minutes after breaking up with someone she supposedly loved and cared about. If she really believed it was a breakup, she would have actually been upset about it if she cared an iota about you. You shouldn't be thankful she did something pretty despicable. If she threatens a breakup over getting a can of freaking beer, she's not even as mature as a 21-year-old should be. Takeaways. This is crazy. She's not worth it. I can tell you that my girlfriend would never let me go to bed without wanting to come and end the night with me. She definitely wouldn't stay up with even my friends if I was. She'd rather spend the time with me. You can find much better. If I were you, I'd tell her that you want a woman who doesn't have to make mistakes like that to know right from wrong. If she really cared, she would have tried to remedy things in the first place, not take a swivel as a chance to go screw someone else. This has bad written all over it, and I hope you stick to your guns and don't ever go back to her. Our next comment is from Alligator, who has a story. Sorry time for you to maybe make you feel not alone. This was years ago now, when I was also about 22. I had been dating Josie, who also lived with me in the house I rented for a little under a year when I woke up one day and walked out into my living room. Josie wasn't in my bed, nor in her room, so I assumed she went off to work. On my way to the kitchen, I noticed a little book lying open on the living room floor. I picked it up and noticed it's handwritten, and the outside isn't labeled in any way. I glanced at the page it was open to and saw there was a date from about a week before. The first sentence was, The sex at the party last night was the best I'd ever had. I paused and stared for a second as it dawned on me that this must be a diary. Skimming back a few pages, I even found more entries about sex with random guys at random parties, and finally, a few entries pertaining to me, which finally settled it that this was a diary and it basically had to be Josie's. I called her, and she just so happens to be on her way home from just going out for some coffee. She comes in, and I'm holding the diary and sitting on the couch. The first thing she sees is what I'm holding, and she immediately gets mad. Her. Why do you have my diary? Me. It was laying pages up in the middle of the living room floor. I picked it up to put it somewhere, but not before I read the first sentence of the page it was open to. After a bit of yelling at me for reading her diary, I finally asked her why she felt the need to cheat on me so many times and with so many different guys. I didn't read the whole thing. I stopped once I knew it was hers and accounted four guys. According to her, we had been broken up for about a month. We go back and forth about how I apparently hadn't been informed of this, and if we were broken up and she was having sex with other guys, then why in the world was she still crawling into my bed and having sex with me every-ish night? I also brought up how weird it was that it was left in the living room and open to a certain page, but she denies doing it on purpose. After a bit more one-sided arguing, I told her I wanted her moved out ASAP. I was a little torn up, but thankfully the situation was so messed up that it only ruined my brain for a little while, I think. Self Atlas piles on. Wow, that is seriously messed up. Glad you escaped that one. As per your last notion, I broke up with my girlfriend of five plus years just two months ago. I get what you mean. Crap has an effect on you when it's basically someone you trust and dot loves you can be so effing manipulative and justify crap. There was a straight week where I couldn't function properly. Funny thing is that it was a delayed reaction. Happened a month after our breakup. Saw Breaking Bad through that week. Damn, Breaking Bad was good. Alright, move on to a quick story to wrap things up. My, 23 male, girlfriend, 20 female, slept and cuddled with her, 22 male friend, who she has previously met out with before we started dating. I'm really torn between whether I should be angry or not. They have kissed a month or two before we started dating well over a year ago, which I'd never heard of before even while we've talked about things like this, and apparently, that was the end of it. However, they had a party a few days ago, after which they slept together and cuddled. The friend, who's also in a long-term relationship, had asked if they could go further. I don't know exactly how far they had gone. I didn't want to hear, but she had refused. The guy has apparently had feelings for her for a longer time now as well, and they've started becoming better and better friends over the past few months. They're both in the same group of friends. I don't really know how to feel. 
On one hand, she knew to stop and told me about it a few days later, which the guy isn't going to do for his girlfriend. But, on the other hand, she never told me about making out with one of her friends before, who I've also met numerous times, and seemed to be okay with whatever they were doing until the guy had suggested sex. She also talked about how it was made easy since they'd already blown past the barrier by kissing before, which left me baffled at her explanation, and I really didn't know what to say. I wanted to tell her that I wasn't surprised, which I'm not, since she's a lot younger and impulsive. But how should I handle this? She said it's okay if I feel like she has betrayed my trust, or if I feel violated somehow. I told her I'd think this through, but I haven't been able to really form any concrete dots yet. Two days later, we don't live together or even in the same city, and have never discussed a relationship being open. A couple quick comments before we close out the day. I can't wait and see, says. This girl is a master manipulator. She confessed a half-truth, so Oki can't blame her for hiding things. She cheated, psychoanalyzed it to make it seem like it was a logical thing to happen given the circumstances, and then told him it was okay to feel wronged. Please leave. She cheated and has zero remorse for the situation, and is trying to manipulate you into feeling guilty if you hold it against her. This isn't an age thing. At 17, I knew what cheating was. Don't make excuses for her. Last comments from Dura Coog. Yeah, I don't think this is going to stop. It will just escalate step by step. Not much will stop it unless you can control who she sees. And what is the point of that? It is not worth being toxic to her because she isn't ready for an adult relationship. She stepped outside of the relationship, closed the door behind her, 